It's always good news when waiting for that gift makes you stronger. When TV personalities pump up for inner city kids. And when Rose Reisman sets us straight about salads. Always good news with Connie Smith. Hi everybody. We wait a lot in life, in lines at the grocery store, at stoplights, and while it can be a mild inconvenience, the wait for organ transplants is exhausting and all-consuming. We begin today with the story of one family from Brantford, Ontario, who have turned their wait into a positive, some would say miraculous, chapter in their lives. AGN's Aaron Alvarez explains. His kidneys were covered in cysts and they hardly had any tissue to them. Um, so they were not, they would not be functioning when he was born. Cooper Heaney was born with underdeveloped lungs and kidney disease. With all the odds against him, his mother Lindsay says she's convinced Cooper made his own decision to fight. He decided that whatever was coming, he could handle. And he decided that he wanted to stick around. It wasn't ever a matter of if he was coming home for us because it it just couldn't be. Doctors told the Heenies that in just a few short years, Cooper would need a kidney transplant. Well, here he is at five years old with no transplant in sight, thriving better than they ever imagined. Every single day, that little boy is a walking miracle. I actually, we call him our million dollar baby because had we lived anywhere but Canada, <laughs> he would have been a million dollar baby. Especially in Cooper's case, there is no cure for kidney disease. The only thing that they can do is try to keep it from progressing or once it progresses they go on dialysis as a replacement for their kidneys until they can find a donor. It's scary to know that that might be us, that it could be Cooper in five years. But Lindsay says they've chosen to carry on like any other normal family, living day by day. An estimated 1.5 million Ontarians have or are at risk of developing kidney disease and thousands of them will eventually need a transplant. Lindsay says she realizes now more than ever why organ donation is so important. If I look at the person that I was before Cooper was born and I look at the person that I am that he's turned me into, I much prefer the way that I am now. Had somebody asked me if I was donating my organs, I actually would have said no. Um, which is not something that a lot of people know. But now she's volunteering for the Kidney Foundation of Canada, running local walks and organizing the Cooper Crew, urging as many people as she can to give the gift of life. Lindsay says she got a tattoo of a green ribbon to show how dedicated and grateful she is. There were so many people right from day one that went the extra mile for Cooper. If people are willing to do that for my family, the only thing that I can do in return is to pay it forward. Big sister Madison says she worries about Cooper but is thankful he's doing so well and is just like any other little brother. He has challenges that he deals with all the time but at the same time he goes to karate and he plays soccer and he plays with his big sister in the backyard. All of the stuff that, um, that he should be doing. With nearly 4,000 Canadians on the waiting list for an organ transplant, 72% are waiting for a kidney. Lindsay says she can't stress enough that everyone should sign their donor card. Everybody on that list is somebody's Cooper. It's somebody's friend. It's somebody's son or mom or dad. I can't imagine having to do that. So if we can prevent that, I have to do what I can. <laughs> 